Hello everyone and welcome back to Football Manager 2024 and the final episode of Season 2 with Newcastle United where we are looking to do a Premier League and Champions League double. We're already champions of England. Can we retain our title and can we become champions of Europe in just two seasons? It'd certainly be the fastest I've ever done that double, if I've ever done that with Newcastle before, which I don't think I ever have. It's a sign of where the club is now in world football and in this game that that is even an option. And last time out, we had a sensational victory against Liverpool, the same against Paris Saint-Germain, but unfortunately could not do the business against Arsenal. And it left us in a precarious position where we were top of the table, but Arsenal had a game in hand. And if we have a look at that table now, you will see we are top of the table and Arsenal are fifth and they do not have a game in hand. So for the last two games of the season, there are two points between first and sixth. It is the closest title race I think I have ever seen in the Premier League. It is absolutely unbelievable. And on top of that, first up, we have to beat Paris Saint-Germain to a place in the Champions League final. Now we've already beaten them at home, so all we have to do now is not lose, and we will be in the Champions League final. So we've got a few tired players out there. It's a business end of the season. It's gonna happen, but this is the last midweek fixture we will play all year. Uh, we've got the full strength defense out there, Gutrudia and Botman in the middle with Trippier and Hernandez, then Jean Neves, Tanali, Joe Linton, in central midfield, Ayorzabal, Torres and Isaac up front. Just going to do one last check. I mean, Bruno could play. Like, I'm tempted to make the change here. Joe Linton's been so good this season. So many goals this season. Look at his valuation. He's gone absolutely out of control. 93 to 130 million is insane. But look at his performances compared to last year. He's really come on. Uh, very much getting sidetracked there. But I think I'm happy with this. I think we're going to keep Bruno on the bench for now. And that way we've got a really powerful weapon to bring off if we need it. But we need to beat Paris Saint-Germain today. No question about it. We've got to do the job. They're going for a similar team to last time. In fact, I think it's the exact same team as last time. No real changes in there at all. Um, oof. Let's take the pressure off. Teo Hernandez didn't love that, but everybody else is okay with it. And here's Torres with a throw in early on, finds Tonali. Jean Neves to Joe Linton to Teo Hernandez. He didn't love it and he's lost the ball. Marquinhos back to Skriniar. Donnarumma under pressure, gets rid of it. Keller Moani's up there, but Gertrude has won it. Joe Linton heading it on to no one in particular. Now Dembele, he's going to use that pace. He's going to outrun Joe Linton all day. Put it across to Mbappe, beautiful touch, beautiful finish. And that is all it takes when you've got players like Kylian Mbappe on the pitch. It is all square on the night, on the uh, on aggregate now. Dembele there used his pace well. We should not have given the ball away down the other end. There was Mbappe. What a first touch that is. Pope has to save that. It's straight at you, man. You've got to push that beyond the post. What are you doing? Just patting it into the back of your own net. In the Champions League semi-final, where we just had to not concede and we would have been in the final. We've got it all to do now. Botman's on the ball. Brings it forward to Joe Linton. Now Isaac's nice little touch from Joe Linton there. Isaac pushing into the box. Oh, and that's what a real goalkeeper does. Pushes it onto the post, pushes it out of play. Trippier with the corner. Back post Joe Linton. It's out by Kola Moani and we will go again. Trippier makes a long jog over. Oh, so yours about actually taking this one. In it goes and Donnarumma claims it. Five minutes in, we're a goal down, but all square on aggregate. Pope with the goal kick, with the free kick. Gertrudia back to Pope. Now Jean Neves to Joe Linton. Yours, oh, you can't, Joe Linton's made a couple of mistakes already. I think he's going to have to come off. Kola Moani. Two mistakes from Joe Linton and two goals. And I am not accepting that. Should have played. Should have played Bruno. Not too late to make the change. Eight minutes into the game, Joe Linton's being hooked. He is directly at fault for both of those goals. 
I don't know, maybe he's overcome with the occasion. I was praising him before the game, which you should never do. I got off track. And there's Pope again. But you know what? Pope's coming off as well. It's going to be two separate substitutions within 10 minutes, but... Okay, okay, we can we can do them both at the same time at least. Let's make these changes. Pope is useless. He's gone in the summer. Gillespie's going to start the rest of our games. Neves to Joe Linton. Joe Linton to Bruno. I think anybody's ever done that sort of substitution in a Champions League semi-final. We've got a corner now from Soler. Trying to clear it away. There's Soler. Dembele loses it to João Neves. He's going to bring it forward to Isaac. Ball back to Teo Hernandez. Now Hachau Neves. Round the corner for a Yorzabal. He's got players in the middle. It pulls it back to Hachau Neves. Saved by Donnarumma. I demand a bit more from this team. Trippier to take the corner. Everyone back for PSG and they do deal with it as Mendes tries to bring it forward now. Why has everybody for PSG got so much pace? Well, we'll see. See if this makes any difference. We are now losing on aggregate. It took less than nine minutes for that to happen. I don't think we played too awfully, but mistake from Joe Linton and then terrible goalkeeping from Nick Pope has left us in this position, but neither of those people on the pitch anymore. As we look to come forward, João Neves out to Teo Hernandez. He yields the ball into Neves. He seems to be enjoying this more advanced role. Now Botman, Neves. Now Bruno off the bench, back to Gertrudia. Sonali finds Bruno, João Neves, there's a bit of space, he's got Isaac ahead of him, he goes for goal. And it is wide from Neves, but not by much, and we are certainly going for it now. Kalamuani has the ball, holds it up, robbed by Gertrudia, Mbappe gets it back, now Soler to Agate, takes a touch. Dembele puts it wide of Gillespie's post. And we need to do more here. Try and encourage the team. Mbappe with a corner. Don't we put Mbappe on a corner. And Ignacio puts that one over the top of the bar. 15 minutes left to go. The team reacting well to the encouragement. Now Mbappe. Oh, and Skriniar's put it in. And they did not react that well. Because we are now 3-0 down against Paris Saint-Germain. Really, really poor. Skriniar there just gets ahead of two of our defenders and beats Gillespie at his near post. And it's 3-0 to PSG and it would have to be one heck of a comeback. Dembele with another corner. And that is embarrassing. The way that ball got in the back of the net there. Dembele just whipped it in. Kulamwani near post. It bounces over Gillespie. And into the back of the net. I don't know what he was diving at. Completely missed it. And it is 4-0 to Paris Saint-Germain in one half of football. I think we might have to start focusing on the league at this rate. Three goals we need in the second half. So fresh legs become a priority. Anderson's going to go on. Isaac's going to come off for Wilson as well. Save them. Trippier off as well. Save them for the league. There's no way we're coming back from 4-0 down to win this. We need four goals to go through. Colin Moani, out wide to Dembele. Haven't made the substitutions yet as Dembele cuts inside and scores. And this is not how you want to go out in the Champions League semi-finals. You win 2-1 at home, go to Paris, and you're 5-0 down in under an hour. Dembele with it. I don't think I've ever lost a game 5-0 in this series. But there we are, Dembele. Gillespie may as well have not been there. Maybe Nick Pope is not the only goalkeeper with a problem. But it is 5-0. Very much game over here. I'm going to have to go to a more cautious approach as well. Otherwise, it's going to end up 8 or 9-0.
free kick now goes in. Marquinhos off the post as we survive another effort. Time ticking away as we're into the final half an hour. Can we? Well, no, we can't. We can't do anything. It's all over. Torres with a corner, though. Puts it in. Botman was there. Ball just floating around. It comes to Teo Hernandez. Now Bruno. Catrudia to Torres. And we have got a goal back. Is there any time left in this one? Oh, no. It's offside. I don't think it's going to count. We're carrying the ball to the halfway line anyway. Referee doesn't want it. They are taking a look at this, and the goal has been given. We do have one back, so we need three goals now, so maybe we do need to go back to a more attacking approach. Torres, the only one with a bit of fight left in him, as he absolutely spanks that ball past Donnarumma to make it 5-1. But we do need four more goals if we're going to go through here. Try and encourage the team a little bit. They're taking players off. Wilson's got a knockdown. Wilson's fully injured now. Um, mm, don't have a striker. We've got 12 minutes left. I think we're going to have to play as we are and just go to a cautious approach with 10 men. 5-1 down with 10 men. I mean, we've got to be realistic at this point. It's only going to get worse. Go Trudia to Botman. Out to Teo Hernandez. We've got no central figure to aim at. Bruno back to Anderson. Teo. Now Botman, we switch the flank to Torres. Players can start flooding forward. And he's giving the ball away as it comes to Marquinhos. Back to Donnarumma with a little chip pass. Nacio. Over to Skriniar. And here come PSG on the attack once more. Ramos has got him behind. And he has scored to make it 6-1. I'm going to check that one, but I'm pretty sure you'll find that was onside. And indeed it was. Marquinhos to Calamuane. Over the top. Ramos just beats Gertrudia for pace. And then beats Gillespie. And it's six goals for PSG. And if we have a look, they've had seven shots on target. 1.8 XG. And scored six goals. And that is why we need a new goalkeeper. If that result had finished on the XG, we'd be in extra time right now. If that, maybe we would have won it. But eight shots, six goals. I mean, I just can't be too hard on the team because we've got a Premier League title race to fight. But that is absolutely awful. And we have to sign a new goalkeeper in the summer. We get 10 million for playing in the semi finals. That can go towards the new goalkeeper fund. I don't know who we'll bring in. Let's see who we would have got in the final. Real Madrid would have been the opponents. Liverpool have won their game in hand. Not particularly relevant. Although they've closed the gap down on the top of the league to three points. So three points separating the top seven now uh, is quite, <laughs> quite a tight spread. So Liverpool could still win the title at this point. Seems unlikely that far down this pecking order, but who knows? Um, that is just so tight at the top there. So we need to get excited about the Premier League again. Up next, we have to play Crystal Palace and then we have to play Tottenham to try and win the Premier League title. I am expecting to see a comeback match in this game. We've got a lot of good players coming in, fully fit. Isaac Eelsbao, Gordon, Joe Linton, Neves, Gertrudia. Doyle coming in at left back as Teo Hernandez and some fully fit Scalvini and Botman in the centre. Nick Pope is going to start in goal again because it's not like Gillespie offered anything more when he came on and conceded twice as many goals. Uh, maybe a rash decision from me, uh, but I just was so fed up in that Champions League game. It's a sign of why we need to invest in more top quality players if we're going to make progress in the Champions League. So we're absolutely torn apart by PSG. 
and a lack of goalkeeping. But here we come on the attack with Botman. Now Scalvini. Out wide to Gordon. Into Isaac. First time. But Johnston sticks out a leg and pushes it away for a corner. Trippier to take the corner. In towards Scalvini. But Johnston again comes out. And it looks like he might be our biggest obstacle today. Can we beat Sam Johnston? Trippier puts it in. Botman is there. And he's missed the target. You've got to hit the target with that. You're the first man at the near post in an offensive corner. You have got to score. Elise now puts it in. Gertrudia away. Solomon cleans up. Being crowded back. Oh, so close to winning the ball there. I think that was a yours about that went for it. It's come out to Johnston now. Mitchell. Down the line and Trippier has won it this time. Gordon on it. Over to Iorzabal. Plays it into Doyle. Saved but it comes to Isaac. And he tucks it home for his 35th goal of the season. We have a 1-0 lead over Crystal Palace now. Doyle again. The goal threat from left back. He's such a good deputant, deputy for uh, Teo Hernandez. And there again. Johnston made the save. But you can only save it once in that sort of position. And it goes out to Isaac, who does tuck it home. And we've made the breakthrough that we desperately needed in this game. Ayuzabal now with a corner. Comes out to João Neves. He's trying to go in. Ayuzabal picks it up. Scalvini. Scalvini had scored that. Ball going behind him on the turn. If he'd found the top corner, that would have been utterly remarkable. We are all over Crystal Palace in this game. But as yet... Have not managed to make the breakthrough now. Trippier just struggling a little bit. He's played it into Gordon. Jean Neves. Doyle just bends that one past the top corner. He maybe needs to put his foot through that rather than try and curl it. Taken Trippier off and brought Livramento on after Trippier got a knock. Corner now for Palace. Eze in. Doyle away. Elise bouncing around, but Butman clears it. Now Mitchell back towards the centre. Mitchell back to Guerhi. Tete. Hansen plays it into Ducore. Byline. Oh, good save from Nick Pope. Trying to make up for that horrific performance in Paris. From Paris to Crystal Palace. Elise now. Cleared away. Gordon further on. Tete picks it up and tries to bring it forward again. Not had a shot on target at Palace, but they are creating expected goals. A few minutes to go in this first half and we are in control. No title rivals playing at the moment. United did win, but they're not the title rivals right now. Very pleased with how that has gone so far. But we do need to score another goal because these chances are going to keep coming for Palace. Ducore, edge of the area. And that is exactly what happens when you don't take your chances. We have been pegged back by Crystal Palace. As they put it in, Ducore, edge of the area. One touch, half volley. Bottom corner, 1-1, one, one. just like that. XG on that must be tiny. I think that was 0.5 XG from the look of it. And yet, it has pegged us back. Despite all of our bluff and bluster, we cannot get the goal we need. Joe Linton, back to Botman. Now Doyle out wide, using the space, finds Joe Linton inside. He's got players across him, including Isaac. He stuck the base of the post when we needed him to find the back of the net. Time running out here, players are tired as well. Heading towards the last 20 minutes, gonna have to make changes. Yours about off. It's gonna be Torres to come on, João Neves needs to go off. Tonali can score goals, he's coming on, gonna bring Hernandez on. Doyle's not doing too well at left back. Three big name players coming on the pitch, gonna try and encourage the team as well. A little bit of reaction there. Gordon's not doing too well, so Almiron can go on. Botman's had a mare from the look of it. Oh, they've hit the post as well. Oh, Botman getting sent off, but there's not a lot I can do. We are nearly out of time. Can we get the goal we need? We deserve to win this game. Eight minutes of added time. Teo Hernandez with the throw and finds Botman. Teo Hernandez through to Isaac, but it's cleared away. And now Palace on the counter. Found to Corey. If we lose this, Elise 
cleared away, but only to do Corey Elise again. Loses out to Joe Linton. Can we counter? Torres down the line. Beautiful ball. Finds Isaac. He's going to cut inside. Still going Isaac. And Guerre, he cleans it up for Palace. Now Tete over the top looking for Elise, but Te Hernandez does beat him. Pope sends it forward. Now Gertrudia to Tonali. He's got players ahead of him. He finds Almiron. Almiron to the byline. Pulls it back to Teo Hernandez. And Teo Hernandez has done it. We have taken the lead. 94th minute. Teo Hernandez of all people with the goal. Tonali down the line for Almiron. The substitutes doing the business. It was pulled back to Teo. Good first touch. And he slams that ball into the back of the net. He is the most aggressive, most um, pull-yourself-up-by-the-bootstraps player that we have in the team by a mile. Whenever I encourage the team, he doesn't love it. Whenever I shout at the team, he absolutely loves it. And there's a 94th-minute winner from the left-back off the bench in order to get us the three points that could win us the Premier League title. Spurs two points behind us and we play them at the end of the season. Everybody else basically has to win their game in hand. Otherwise, they're out of the title race. Everton get 800k from Gordon from that game. They can have it. We are playing Spurs at home to win the title. Man City have won, so they close the gap as well. Who else have played? No one else. Chelsea could win and go level on points, depending on their goal difference. We're going to need to see how these results go. Liverpool and Chelsea playing each other, so someone's going to fall out. Chelsea have lost. Arsenal have won. And so, I mean, still, theoretically, the top six could win the title. Chelsea probably out of it now on goal difference. Liverpool still in it on goal difference. So the top five could all win the Premier League going into the final. I mean, you've got to say the top six is mathematically possible and not too impossible everybody loses and Chelsea win we lose by five they win by more than five and the job is done we are top of the league going into the final game of the season playing a title rival and we are at home it has to be now so this is it we're about to take on Spurs at home for the title we have Isaac Ayozabal Gordon up front Joe Linton Tonali and Bruno in midfield Hernandez Botman Scalvini and Gertrudia in defense because Kieran Trippier has picked up an injury so his last game of this, uh, for us was uh, that last minute winning game against Crystal Palace he's already agreed to leave the club I tried to extend his contract but he was not interested he wants to join Real Sociedad Doyle is out as well for this one. So this is our team. Our team of heroes going out there to try and defend and retain our Premier League title in the most competitive title race of all time in England. Uh, lots of decent players in that Spurs team. I don't particularly care. Apparently we lost to Spurs earlier in this season. We've lost a lot of games this season. And today we have to win Got to keep an eye on that table. Got to keep an eye on those latest scorers. Can be all over the place. Son here with a corner. Davies. Straight into the hands of Pope there. And we survive. Nottingham Forest first off the mark. Doesn't matter. Palace have scored. Doesn't matter. Van der Ven here to Davies. Ball over the top. Gertrudia wins it. Now Gordon. Back to Scalvini. To Nally. To Joe Linton. He's got players ahead of him. Takes it down the left flank. He's got loads in the box. Puts it across. Gordon is in there. Gordon loops it and a Yorzabal arrives and plants that ball in the back of the net. And we have a 1-0 lead over Spurs. Imagine St. James's Park the moment that good ball goes in the back of the net. We are winning the title at home as it stands. Joe Linton over. There was Gordon. Ball went across. And a Yorzabal leapt like a salmon to get that ball in the back of the net. And we have the advantage that we need. Free kick now. Dangerous position. Gordon takes it short to go. Trudia! And he has slammed that one into the back of the net. 2-0 now against Spurs. We are winning. And that should surely get us the title. Go Trudia there. Well worked set piece. And he finds the top corner. 
Absolutely brilliant stuff. And the nerves surely starting to settle around the City. Man City winning as well. 1-0. Arsenal winning as well. There's no room for slipping up here. We will fall down the table. We have to win this game. Tonali has got a big knock there. So Jean Nevers has come onto the pitch. Pope sends it forward to Teo Hernandez. He charges forward. Oh, what a ball that is to a about Down the line. On the chalk. Pulls it back to Teo. He sends it in and Gordon finishes it. And we are 3-0 up. And imagine how much you're drinking at this point if you're a Geordie. Watching your team win the title at home in the most competitive season English football has ever seen. He just came to Gordon. He slots it in and we are 3-0 up against Spurs. All of the front three have scored in this game. And we are running away with it. Are yours about now with a corner? And it goes. Joe Linton's there. It's cleared away to Gordon again. Good tackle from Son. Get into that board. He's now on the charge. Bruno has won it though. Now Botman sends it all the way back to Pope. Scalvini brings it forward. Gertrudia. Jean Neves in behind for Gordon. Players to his left. Still going Gordon. Pulls it back. There's Bruno. Jean Neves tackled. Gordon. Isaac. And it is offside. So that one is called back. But we are cruising here against Spurs really nicely as we approach half-time. Everybody else is winning as well. This really had to be a must-win game for us. Joe Linton heads it on. Van de Ven with the overhead kick. And then the world's fastest run to get back to his defensive position. But we are cruising towards the title Rosario sends it forward. There's Basuma. Rosario again sends it over the top. Son is there. Catridia wins the header. Now Bruno forward to Jean Nevers. Nice turn. Pushes down the right flank. Sends it over into Oyorzabal, but it's cleared away. Now Madison tries to break for Spurs in behind, but Botman is there. Sends it across to Bruno. Joe Linton. Be nice to see him score today. Botman. To Joe Linton. Takes it down the wing. Pulls it into Teo Hernandez. They swap positions and Teo gets in. And Teo gets the goal that Joe Linton would have. Were their roles reversed as they should have been. But instead Joe Linton settles for the assist. And Teo Hernandez. Who is a reason that we're winning this title after that 94th minute goal in the last game. Scores in this one as well. Nice cute finish at the near post. And that is 4-0 now against Spurs and every other fan for those top six teams will be utterly deflated at this point. Although, penalty, push on Romero, whatever it was, it looked very soft. But it is indeed a penalty and it is going to be Bissouma to take it. Oh, and he's scored thought Nick Pope might get to that then. Ten goals for Basuma now this season as he rushes back to the uh, centre circle. Pope maybe should have saved it. Seemed very central. It seemed like it wasn't a fully committed dive there from Pope. Aston Villa winning 4-0. Chelsea drawing 0-0 with Luton Town. It's pretty embarrassing. But we are winning. Man City are winning. Liverpool are winning. Arsenal are winning. City have just gone 2-0 up. So we have to win. Gordon to Gertrudia. Gordon's still going out there. Isaac and Gertrudia both got knocks now, so I'm just going to quickly take them both off. Don't want them getting any long-term injuries. Jean Neves to Isaac. Now Teo Hernandez. Got so much pace. Pushes down the left, puts it into Isaac, and he's put it over the top as we make our changes. 20 minutes away from the league title. Can we get the job done? Ayol's about struggling. He's going off as well. 10 minutes to go. Teo Hernandez with the throw in. Now Botman. Over to Scalvini. Out wide for Gordon. Takes it down the flank. Pulls it back to Liveramento. Bruno. To Teo. To Torres. Ah, it's off the post. That was not a save. That was off the post. Very close to another goal. Now he sends it forward to Davies. Andre back to the keeper. Nice little chip out wide. Johnson to Hoiberg. Eric Dyer forward. 
Uh, Davies, Devondre, Son beats his man. And Livermento wins it back well. Now Gordon can use his pace, turns on the afterburns, but Andre's got better ones. Finds Hoiberg, Son, tackled by Neves, falls to Madison. Not long left. Son to the byline, finds Richarlison, it's blocked. Johnson still has it, tackle goes in, and Torres has got the ball. And I do not want them scoring another goal with about 10 minutes of play included, added time to go. Unfortunately, it looks like we are just about going to do it here. Looks like it's fairly level when you look at the stats, but we've managed to run out 4-1 winners. Spurs here pushing, obviously. They were still in the title race that they won this game. But instead, they have seemingly lost it as they come forward. Madison on the ball. Goes out wide. Joe Linton. Is that another penalty? Certainly looks like it will be. Madison there, taken out by Joe Linton. And it is indeed a second penalty, so it'll be Basuma to take it. I don't think they can come back now. Barring a miracle, Johnson takes it and sends Pope. I mean, Pope basically dived out of his goal there. 17 goals for Brennan Johnson this season. As he plants that one nicely. Same spot, maybe a bit further over than Basuma's. But yeah, I mean, even if Spurs have won this game, Man City would take the title. But there it is. The full-time whistle has gone and we are going to lift the Premier League trophy. We have somehow managed to retain our title despite a terrible start to the season and despite it being the most competitive league title race I have ever seen in the Premier League. And Trippier there, I'd be going full kit if I were him. As we lift the Premier League for a second time, the black and white ticker tape will come down at St. James's Park. There it is. We have won the Premier League on the final day for the second year in a row. And we are the new dominant force in English football. Absolutely sensational of the team. The signing of Fernandes, know yours about in January. Absolutely essential. Five points separating the top seven at the end of all that. Liverpool managed to get up there into fifth. Villa finishing sixth. City, one point off us with a better goal difference as well. Then Arsenal, then Chelsea. Really, really tight finish to the season. But we've managed to do it. We've retained the Premier League. Look at that. Three for City, two for us. Uh, Isaac picked up a knock. Gertrudia, both just on little knocks. Or won the Premier League, qualified for the Champions League again. Big budget, 238 million. Just have a look at the wage budget as well, 695k available. So we will be signing a marquee goalkeeper for next season. Uh, but absolutely fantastic to win two Premier League titles in a row. Get 38 million for that as well. Everybody gets their bonuses paid out. Uh, just get to the end of the season summary. I don't know when it comes, I assume. After the Champions League final. There it is. We've got it already. Uh, so the signings this season. Callum Doyle coming in was fantastic. B- minus on him. £57 million he cost. Um, yeah, it helps with the homegrown rules. But seven goals, six assists. For a player that didn't play that regularly was sensational. Uh, then we had Teo Hernandez. Board loved Teo Hernandez. Everyone would. £52 million for him. Absolute steal. Ayors Abel, again, absolute steal. Uh, to get him in. Nine goals, seven assists in the 26 games he played. Uh, Gertrudia, people loved. Uh, he's on a low wage, cost 55 million. Scalvini, everybody loved. Again, because he's got a low wage, played a lot of games. Uh, so people loved the signings, fair to say. And then we won the Premier League. People very happy with that. Champions League, board quite happy with that. A minus. Less so with the FA Cup, Community Shield, and Carabao Cup, but who cares? As we managed to win. Goal of the season came in our 6 1 defeat to PSG. Are you having a laugh? It's absolutely unbelievable you'd say that's our goal of the season. Um, sponsorship up massively. Huge. Broadcast revenue down despite another title and Champions League semi final. Seems a bit weird. Um, corporate hospitality up, competition prize money up because of the Champions League. Match day down a little bit. Uh, let's see how we lined up there interesting back four there 
guess Hernandez would have come in had he played a bit more often. Uh, I won Manager of the Year and one Manager of the Month. Isaac, the fans player of the season. Callum Doyle, young player of the season. Doyle, the signing of the season. Very nice. And Isaac with 36 goals. Trippier got 17 assists. That went under the radar for me that he got 17 assists. And history in the making as we win another title. So absolutely fantastic. Harlan gets the top goal scorer again with 40 goals. Way more than Isaac's 24 in second place. Lee Watkins there with 22 as well. I get manager of the year though. Very happy with that. And we have qualified for the Champions League again. Much better, better than the rest. Season profile, Fairweather fans increasing, probably just because we're getting more fans. That's probably just dilo diluting the percentages. Uh, I'm just going to accept the vision. don't particularly care what the vision is. Um, and yeah, that's the end of the season. We have won another Premier League title. Shame to go out of the Champions League in the way we did. It'll be Champions League, uh, PSG versus Real Madrid in the Champions League final. Um, but yeah, fantastic season, I have to say. Really happy with how the team performed. Uh, next season, I need that Champions League title. Hopefully, we can make it three in a row in the Premier League, but I need that Champions League title. Do drop a like on the video if you did enjoy that dramatic end to the season. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for if you're new and for the third season of this series. But until next time, see ya.